What is up, friends? Welcome back to The Badass Times. My name is Matt, and today, this morning, it is time for me to check out The Mandalorian Season 3 official trailer, which dropped last night during the Bucks and Cowboys playoff game. Sadly, Tom Brady is not continuing into the playoffs, which everybody kind of knew. Just it, The team just was not good this year. How they made it to the playoffs, who knows? I kind of gave up on the... Uh, Kind of gave up on the football season altogether early on. Uh, I could see my boy Rodgers and and or Brady was not going to go for uh, too far this year. So, uh, yeah. So, enough football talk. We're here for Star Wars. The trailer dropped last night. I, of course, I was not home. I'm never home for these good trailers. It drives me crazy. It's like every time there's a big trailer, I'm nowhere around. So, anyway, I had to hold myself back from watching it. Uh, but there's no more time to waste. It is now 7 a.m., and it's time for me to react to The Mandalorian. Uh, please, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join me on this epic adventure that is The Badass Times. Uh, we react to movies, series, music, anything and everything, and uh, tons of different new fresh content coming every week every month and this year is going to be our biggest year yet we're so close to 10,000 subscribers trying to get there in 13 days give or take and uh let's see if we can do it by the end of the month if not by the end of february we will do it so anyways let's check out this trailer make sure we're queued up here where are we at here oh there we go there we go all right maybe we're not maybe it's not working Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me figure out the stupid computer. All right, volume, volume. <laughs> oh, I haven't been this excited for a trailer in a minute. Our people are scattered like stars in the galaxy. What are we? Ooh. What do we stand for? God, I hope it's badass. Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. That way, you'll never be lost. Interesting. Carl Weathers is back. I know he's directing a couple episodes. Given for my transgressions. May the force be with you! Uh, they keep the bringing way. that lady back. She's the weakest link. There's something dangerous happening out there. And by the time it becomes big enough for you to act, it'll be too late. Oh, shit! Hang on, kid. Where's Bo Katan? This is the way. <laughs> March 1st. We are close. Damn, I wanted more. Or maybe I didn't. Uh, was not as epic as I wanted it to be, but it still looked good. Uh, surprisingly, no Bo-Katan. I think we saw them dropping out of the ship right there. Um, maybe with Sabine Wren. Is you know is she going to be a big character in this season? A lot of people are speculating yes. And at the very least, the Ahsoka Tano show, uh, which, when does that come out? Is that summer? Or is that, you know, next this fall? So, very interesting stuff. Sounds like someone is working on something outside my house. I keep hearing, like... Weird vehicle sounds. Anyways, uh, yeah, I I'm stoked. Hope it's really good. Uh, inter interested to see where they take it. You know, if it feels like I mean, has it been? It's been almost two years, I guess, right, since we last 
had a season of The Mandalorian. Is that right? That sounds crazy to say, but it really is, I think. Uh, but yeah. It looks good. Looks great. Uh, they didn't, you know, for an official trailer, one minute and 40 seconds, that's kind of short. I feel like that teaser we got a while back, was it official or was it not official? Whatever I saw a while back on Twitter, I know I didn't do a reaction for it, I don't think. Can't, I can't remember. It was, it was a few months ago. I did a reaction for one thing. I think it was a teaser, and then something else leaked online. That might have been the Soko Tano trailer. Uh, but yeah, stoked to see, uh, you know, are, are we going to get more Luke in this? Are we going to get more Ahsoka? Uh, you know, who else is going to show up in this series? You know, we saw Carl Weathers character come back. I can't think of his name. You know, obviously we got Grogu and, uh, yeah. So I'm excited. I wanted more from the trailer, you know, from the, the hype I saw when I, you know, was out last night and not at home. I, I, I expected more. I'm kind of, the more I think about it, I'm kind of disappointed. I really didn't get much in that trailer at all. Obviously, Grogu's going, growing in strength. He's becoming, a, you know, a Mandalorian or a Jedi, you know, a mixture of both. We will see where they take his story. And I wonder, where, is he ever going to get bigger? Is he ever going to start, start talking? I hope they move quicker to him growing a little bit older. I know that his species, whatever it is, grows super slow, and they live a long-ass time. Like 900 years, right? That was Yoda. So, I guess we really might not see him hardly age at all over the course of this series. But, yeah. Looked interesting. I'm stoked. I'm always stoked for Star Wars, especially good Star Wars. Andor was the single best piece of Star Wars in a long time. I think it was even better than most of the Mandalorian. There's great moments in Mandalorian Season 1 and 2, but I think Andor blew it out of the water in the, the sophistication, the writing, the storytelling elements, that like uh, the grown-upness to it all. Uh, and Boba Fett was you know, utter trash. Obi-Wan Kenobi was almost trash. couple good moments, some head-scratching canon, retconning decisions, uh... You know, focusing on the wrong characters, making it feel like a crappy Clone Wars episode, episodic adventure instead of a serious, like Andor, Rogue One style. It's what Obi Wan Kenobi should have been. Boba Fett, I just I like the two episodes for the Mandalorian inside Boba Fett, but the rest of that, the rest of that was garbage. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, you know. You know, Mandalorian season three kind of writes the ship back, and we keep moving on. I mean, even though Andor was great, Andor feels so uh, of a part by itself that I almost don't even include it. Like I, it's like Rogue One and Andor, and then it's they're on an island by themselves, and then you have everything else since 2015. Although, as many of you know who's followed me for a long time, I am a diehard fan of the Last Jedi. Now that's you know some people consider that like sacrilege, but I love that movie. I think I've rewatched it more than, you know, as much as you know I've ever watched rewatched the prequels, and it's up there. Like sometimes when I'm thinking about rewatching a Star Wars movie, I'm like Empire or Last Jedi. You know. All right. Well, that's all. I'm tired. It's time to go to sleep. It's been a long night. Uh, yeah. Surprise! I'm really doing this right now. I was thinking about waiting until the afternoon to do it, but. Had to get it out. So it's 7 a.m. I've been awake all night. And, uh, yeah. Excited for more Star Wars. I'm just rambling on now. I need to go. Thank you all for joining me. Checking out this trailer with me. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Uh, leave me your thoughts in the comments. And I will see everyone next time. Uh, thank you all so much. And peace.